was a day nilikuwa kwa balcony and it was a little bit wet and i tripped ikaanguka hey. and i fell on the exact leg that has an issue i i was so tense when i got up i felt so much pain nilisikia uchungu mwingine hapo i was like have i just ruined Five months work Hi my name is Maya Okoth an interior designer an actress and a mom I am doing this for those of you who follow me on my social media platforms and also those of you who are seeing me for the first time 2022 as a year has had different impacts on different people There are those of you who have had this year as a breakthrough year and there are those who have made so much money in 2022 others have actually made life changing decisions in this year and there are those of you who have been through total darkness and i belong to the last category however i am grateful to god that i went through darkness and i was able to see light again have you ever imagined waking up one morning and not being able to walk totally this is a story that most of you have been asking me to put out there but i wasn't ready yet i went through a lot during that time and i needed some period to get through everything that happened to me but today i want this to be an inspiration to any of you who's going through something out there so as we do this i want you to remember that no one is more special than the other nobody is immune to difficulties and challenges of this world however much prepared you are however much spiritual you are the cup will always go round in a circular motion and once it gets to you there's nothing you can do about it it was a saturday night a movie night for that case i really like watching spanish movies and uh, that night was not an exception i was watching a movie i really like I would I'll highly recommend to most of you Enemigo in Timo. So as I was watching the movie sleep started kicking in and I knew it was time for me to go to bed. So nikamka but there's just something about interesting movies. For those of you who watch movies late nights You can all agree with me that ile saa yenye umeamka kwenda kulala hapo ndio sasa eh it gets hot hapo eh? ndio inashika kushika and uh, there is me really sleepy so niko kwa corridor i do i'm juggling between going to bed and uh, staying to finish the episode you know how challenging that can be So I was watching the episode from the corridor by the way hoping for a long moment that will give me a reason to go to bed but in a Spanish movie long moment utangoja haiko nikaenda nikazima tv so that I can continue watching from where I left the following day it never happened I'm trying to get out of bed but my left leg feels so heavy and I couldn't feel it actually let me say that I couldn't feel my left leg totally I got scared but not that scared because I knew it was maybe in meganda mguu or something to do a massage and then it gets back so I woke the father of my child and told him about it she said i cannot move my leg like i cannot feel them i cannot 
move my leg. I cannot feel them. That is what I had. And and because I know she's this kind of a woman that uh, that loves teasing a lot, so I didn't believe her in the first place. So I was like, hey, stop, 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 it. stop with your jokes. What do you mean you cannot move your legs? And she was like, yeah, I am actually very serious. I cannot move my legs. And so I went to to feel the leg that she was actually pointing at. And so when I touched the leg, she was like, she wasn't feeling anything. So I even tried pressing, you know, because when you don't believe someone, you try to, to press them a little bit to, to see, to get to the point where they have to tell you the truth. You know, more of uh, an investigator trying to torture someone to, to say the truth. So, so I tried to torture her a little bit and I pressed, uh, I, I, I genuinely, like really mbonyeza ile serious ile mbaka ni kachuna to see if she could feel the pain and she never felt anything. And, and that is when I realized she was telling the truth. I, I did not know what to do. I did not know what to do because I have seen people lose their legs. I've seen people losing the ability to move. And for a second, I did not want to think about it. So he called an ambulance. Ambulance Ikakuja. And in the ambulance, they tried to do everything they can to salvage the situation. But I still didn't respond. So I had to be rushed to hospital. So I went to hospital, scheduled for tests, different kind of tests. This actually started with the dimers. And uh, when the results came back, my dimers were very, very high. Like absolutely high. And this is so dangerous. I had blood clots on my left leg. And I don't know if you know this, but when you have blood clots and uh, they start breaking, they tend to flow back to your heart. And that will automatically block your heart. How was I supposed to take that? What if? What he is telling me is a possibility happens to me. I have a young girl, a very small baby, almost five months. That can't happen to me. So I got admitted immediately. The doctors tried to do everything necessary to try and, you know, bring the blood clot down. My doctor, you are Blood clots zimerudi normal, did I must zimerudi normal? So I was safe from blood clots, but there's a problem. My leg was as unresponsive as it was before. This called for more tests. I then had to be rushed to RFH, the main branch, the Ruai branch. I can look your CT scan. CT scan showed us nothing. So CT scan goes on two hours. And so they opted for MRI because MRI in a tumianga magnetic resonance. So magnetic resonance, it sees way beyond what CT scan can see. Results katoka. So now we have to see a new neurosurgeon, and now this issue starts becoming complicated. And then it is actually interpreted. And now what came out is that uh, one of the discs at the lower back had actually bulged, okay? They pressed on the nerves that were responsible for locomotion. I was on medication for two weeks and then it ceased. Na nikaendele na physiotherapy pole pole too. She could not breastfeed at all. So that means we have to look for how our baby was going to survive. Kabla nitoke, my physiotherapist asks me, to move my, to, to just try and do something with my leg. But there was no response. I, I, I was also almost giving up, by the way. We could always ask, how long do you think this is going to take? Do you think this thing is going to take forever? 
And they could tell us, you know, we don't know. It depends on someone's immune system. There are people who come and never walk again for the rest of their lives. There are people who come and walk after two years. There are people who do it after four years. There are people who do it after a year. And so we did not know. So we were just waiting for fate to take its course, you know. But this whole journey, I made sure I stayed positive. And it's because of my daughter. <laughs> Just thinking Mommy. that I have to go back home to raise my daughter and be a mom to my daughter. And spend time Mommy. with her and do everything that I ever imagined to do with my daughter when I was carrying her in my womb. That kept me going. At this particular time, I'm juggling work. I have to come back home and check on the children, how the babies are doing. Once in a while, I have to take the baby to the hospital to see the mother, take the baby back home, and you know, do this and that. So I kept on with my physiotherapy sessions. And uh, it was time for me to go to the theater. For those of you who have been in there, you'll agree with me that theater is not a place to be. Let me talk about my first experience. Let me. I remember the first time Nikiwa Sasa where I was at first, RFH Ruaka. I was scheduled for a, the a, a theater session. When I woke up that morning, I was so scared because I was scheduled for around 9.30. Nikam kasu be around 7. Every time now na minute in a pass by and the, the, the surgeon is almost here. I just got so scared because this is the first time I actually gave birth naturally. So CJ experienced Kituka Mai before. I was so scared. And unfortunately, the father of my child was not around. Same, same time I had a project back in the village. Uh, we're building our house now, you know, uh, mine and my wife's, you know, at the same, same time, there's a guy that, uh, there's a CSR that I was doing, kuna jamaa mwenye alikuja ka aliuza rufi yake, kutibuato hiyo hospitali. So I also had to stop building my house, you know, to go and build that guy a house at the same time. So my wife is in hospital. There's a project in Kona Ushago. I have to stop it. Nikimbiye tena niende Bungoma. So na juggle Bungoma, Nairobi, Ushago. You know, come back to the house. Kuna mtoi nini? At the same same time, I am posting content, and when you post content, haters still exist. And so sometimes I sat down and asked myself, I wish some of these haters knew what I am really going through, and I wish they really knew what I'm really going through right now. I think even if they have a reason to hate me, if they have a reason to hate on me, I think this should be the last time. This shouldn't be the time to try and even hate on me because I'm going through a lot. At that point, I'm just asking God, God, am I really going to work again? This fight that I'm fighting, will it really come to an end or all these things are for nothing? But I kept on believing in him. I was so positive. I never blamed God for anything. I never blamed anyone for anything. I started missing my, my baby so much. But the problem is I'm like an hour drive away from her and she's only five months. She doesn't even sit. She doesn't even talk. She doesn't even know what's going on around her. So even if she comes to me, it's more for me than for her because she, anytime she'd come to visit me, I'm a lala to apple. So I felt like I'm straining her. I wanted her to come like almost every day, but just for, for her, I had to understand. I remember I asked her dad to bring her to me. It really hurt me. 
that she went through such a staple in life and I wasn't there. I was like, when she, she's even sitting, she's even eating. I never got to see all that. Her first time eating, her first time sitting, I never got to see all that. I'm sorry. Wow. <sighs> sorry. So she came to visit me. I spent the day with her. That little girl really gave me so much energy. I really needed her more than she needed me that time. So, at this point, Mguyanguyani ukiangalia in a drug to, like, I, I would, I would, I don't know if I'm right, but I would say that my leg was dead or almost dead. Nilikuwa natambia mgui nafanya tu hivi. Like, ilikuwa like, ni kama a log imekelewa this left side of my leg. So I couldn't walk. I was just on my wheelchair. My baby comes to visit me. I'm just seated. I can't, I can't do anything. Oftenly, my husband would come to visit me and keep me company because that room, Ilifika point, it got too much for me because honestly, I'm not sick. Mimi, si, 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 sina fever, sina sijui a loss of appetite, sina sijui. Kwanza nakumbuka nilikuwa na kula sana, hadi na mpingia simu na wambia, banana na pakulua food kidogo. Because you know, patients za wagonjwa, they don't put so much because they know they won't finish. Mizi kwa na shiba. And then I, I, even, I could even ask for an extra plate. Because I'm in hospital, I, I don't have a fever, I, I don't have loss of appetite, I'm not, like I don't have all that. I just can't walk. And I'm here stuck in a room with only Wi-Fi and television. And maybe the beautiful view of Rai. So it was a routine. Wake up in the morning, go to physiotherapy, get back in my room, come up with different designs for future because I was so hopeful with my career too. So 25th July came, my graduation day. So I remember the immediate week before that, I was asking myself, how am I going to do it? Anytime someone will come to visit me, immediately they leave. And I feel, I feel something so heavy. The days that no one would show up, I'll be fine. But when someone comes and they're like, we have to go, I feel so heavy. That is when it will hit me that, my dear, you're not living a normal life. She started getting used to it, that she started developing insecurity to a point that if anything happens, she feels like, are you doing this to me because I can't walk? I do this to me because I do not have my legs, you know. So that insecurity got into her. And I saw the fear straight into her eyes, you know. But I kept on encouraging her. And she's a strong girl. She graduated from the hospital. So on my graduation day, Nililetewa gown in my room. I wore my, my gown with pride and my cap with my hat with pride. Like any other graduates. I know I couldn't make it to school to the graduation ground, but I was so happy and so proud of myself. <laughs> I remember the nurses coming into my room and they're like, does this even happen in hospital? My whole career I've never seen a, tea, a patient. You're walking into a room and a patient is having her makeup done in a, in a hospital. 
Yeah, so missing ngoja ngojati. Nijurumie rumia hapo hadi no. I just keep on having faith but keep on living life. My family came. My room was so beautiful. Oh my god. I remember even after the graduation I didn't want the decoration to to be brought down because I really loved I really loved how it turned out. It was so so beautiful. And I was as happy as any other graduate who was in school that day. I kept on with my physiotherapy sessions. Nikatoka kwa wheelchair, nikaenda sasa kwa walking aid. That was an improvement, but still my leg was dragging. But the physiotherapist was so good to me. They kept on helping me. They were so patient because we didn't even go a week without any single any single response or improvement in that case. They were so patient with me. Tunaendelea tuna sessions, tunaendelea tuna sessions. And then one day, the other toes started moving. From the other toes, we got to the ankle. When I got to the ankle, sasa nikajua God akona mimi, honestly speaking, because it's not a guarantee that when you go through something that I went through, it's not a guarantee that you'd come out of it. It's not a guarantee that you'd walk. Actually, I used to see that my process was was so slow but it was among the fastest processes my physiotherapist ever had. It was this morning the physician walked in and told me that he'd recommend I get discharged and continue the physiotherapy from home because now I'm done with medication that would really need me to be in the hospital. So I go and recover from home. Remember this time because since my wife cannot walk, it is my responsibility to to carry her whenever she needs anything. The 90% of the time akitaka kuoga it was ilikuwa lazima I had to do it. I remember I couldn't bath my baby. I couldn't take her out to the sun to bask. I couldn't do anything for her. I couldn't do anything. We couldn't do anything together. But then just being there every day made me happy. Physiotherapy sessions zangu zikaendelea to even they came like four, three or four times a week. After a month there was huge progress. Nikaanza ku lift mguu. So I went from a walking aid now to crutches. When I advanced to crutches, I was so happy cuz my leg wasn't dragging anymore. I just didn't have balance. But I could feel my leg. I could move the whole of my leg. But I just didn't have balance. Na kwambia the process was slow but sure. Mungu alikuwa anajua kitu anafanya. At this point I had advanced from two crutches to one. Nikasema sasa hapa nikiendelea kulala hivi na Nairobi start of war. I go back to work. Hivyo hivyo na crutches. There's a day nilikuwa kwa balcony and it was a little bit wet. And I tripped. Ikanguka. Hey. And I fell on the exact leg that has an issue. I, 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 I was so tensed. When I got up, I felt so much pain. I was like, have I just ruined five months work? So the next day after having taken a shower I tried uh, to stand on my own this was a habit that I had uh, really taken in every time I get a chance to I try to stand on my own but unfortunately I wobble or nanguka sometimes it was crazy so this day nikajaribu kusimama aya Nikas mama like just like that. Oh my god. I was so happy. Me I'm sitting at the dining table and then I see Maya standing at the corridor. And in fact, in fact she called on my name and she was like close your eyes. I was like okay. So why do you want me to close my eyes? So I closed and she told me don't look. 
Churchill told me to turn and face the other side. So I faced the other side of the dining table. I'm wondering why does she want me to face the other side? Does she want to pull some, some sexy stuff, you know, this thing of women and luxury and, you know, she wants to, you know, tease me and, you know, eh? So in my mind, I'm like, hey, Bana, there are children in this house, Bana. We cannot from the dining, no, even if there's need to know. Mm? So I'm, I close my eyes. So in my mind, because I also watch a lot of movies, and anytime someone says, a lady comes in and says, close your eyes. Put your hands on my... You know, so that's what I was expecting, for real. And then she told me, open your eyes. And then I opened my eyes. See you lingerie. See you so at your time, I was in my mother's corridor. Kwa my diango, I ni hit hata kidogo. Why na bani? So I ni hit hata kidogo. I'm bani ni ni miss you ni kitu. Miss you na mama tu apo. And then I na na my towel. Miss you ah. Miss you na ondo miss mama tu miss you ni kitu. And she was like, hey, I'm standing on my own. I can walk. That is when he hit me. Damn, by the way, Anna crutches. It was from grass to grace, like zero to a thousand real quick. I can't explain how happy I was. Like, this is something I prayed to God every morning when I was getting out of bed and every night when I was going to bed. God, please, please just make me walk again we just held each other and prayed about it and thanked god for the miracle we really wished we could be more grateful god, we were so happy because this man has been with me from day one he was there every single day whether physically emotionally financially and i really wanted to thank him so much. May God reward him in many ways because he has such a kind heart. And go na lala na mi hospital na skuze nye zi lala. Ana make sure me check up on me. Ana toka kwa nyumba na rudi mtoto. And makiu, I was one hour away. Insurance is very vital, very key. And I know there are people who have had insurance for the last like 10 years, they have never fallen sick. And they're like, there's no need of taking insurance anymore because I never get sick. Let me tell you something. When you don't get, when you have insurance and you don't get sick, thank God for life. Be appreciative, but never stop getting covered. Because when the day comes, you will never know. And it comes when you least expect. The day you will stop that cover from running, that is the day you will need it. And from that day, sorry. And from that day, I never take anything for granted. Nothing, not even any single day. Because where's it you are? Unazako mepanga unasema. I may have time, I'll do it next week, I'll do it. You just wake up. Now who is it in there? So it's over to me plan here, who is it do? So if you wake up and you have everything, if you are normal, you utilize. God has been faithful in my life. I'm back to business fully as an interior designer and an actress on the side. Yeah. I'm not going to waste any time anymore. And so on this channel, I'll be giving you tips, interior design tips, lifestyle videos. Yani to talk about to have fun with you know. I just thought that you should know me before we start interacting now. 
have cleared the air and I want to say thank you each and every one of you who prayed for me. I'm walking, I'm okay, no back aches, nothing. That is a testimony. Thank you so much for watching this video to this point and I hope to see you in the next video. Kindly like, subscribe, join the family and turn on the notification bell so that anytime I upload any new videos, you'll be notified. I'm so excited for this journey. So, so excited. There'll be so much in this channel and I hope we'll have fun. Bye.